To me, the dream is just a dream. So, so there really aren't any attractive or unattractive parts to the dream. It's the only state of mind, it's the only way to live in continuous gratitude. It's the only way to feel the grace of God. It's the only way to have no expectations. If, as soon as you value anything of this world, then you have an attachment. The Buddha talked about Jesus, or you have a, an expectation. So, to me, that is the, the gift of, of this. No attraction, no repulsion to anything. It's absolutely essential. It has to be uncompromising. It has to be unequivocal too, because as soon as you want something from the world, the mind is so powerful that the world will seem to want something from you. If you still have characters in the dream that are still pointing the fingers or accusing or saying your life should be different or cautioning you, all those are just symbols of still wanting something from the world. Because you could but laugh at these things if you see the, the possibility of them, but while you still want something from it, it's, it's a very powerful mind. It, it will show up. We were driving over today and there was a little gecko on the rear view mirror hanging on there as we were coming. And then he, he actually stuck his head down at the bottom of the mirror in the wind <laughs> and he was just like clinging and hanging on there. But we're opening up to a state of mind where there's no sense of, of clinging to anything. There's no need to cling. Specialness is, is like an idol made to take the place of divine agape, unconditional, universal love. So the wish to be special, to wish to be a little different, a little more unique, a little better than, you know, the slight comparisons that come in, and I, am I ahead of some, something or someone? It's very, very, very subtle. I had a, um, a psychologist wrote to me this morning, and he's reading one of my books, I think, Awakening Through a Course in Miracles, and he was reading a part where he loved the dialogue that was happening, because he said, I finally got flashes of insight to what Jesus was teaching. You know, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle and for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. He'd been pondering that for decades and he was, poof, he finally got a flash and was like, oh, I'm seeing that it's not per se the wealth, it's, it's the rich man is just a metaphor or a symbol for desiring something of the world or desiring that the dream be more than a dream, that it have something that's attractive, something of value. That's really the symbol of the rich man. And he said, I finally get it, that that would, that would negate, there's no hierarchy of illusions, there would, no, that would negate, there's no order of difficulty in miracles. If there's any aspect of the dream that's a little different than any other aspect, or a little better, or a little worse, or a little enjoyable. You know, oftentimes people will say, why would I want to renounce enjoyment of the things of the world for something that I'm not even sure is there? <laughs> why would I sacrifice what is part of my daily routine that I gain enjoyment from. It could be anything, a cup of tea, the breeze blowing in from the ocean on the cheek. It could be the slightest thing, a butterfly landing on your on your finger and you enjoy the little, little feel of it. You know, it doesn't really matter, but that's where the miracle working comes in. There has to be a function, a joy, a glee that's greater than the tiny little plain pleasures and pains, and little good things and bad things of the world, that transcends that. And who would give, give up duality unless you got a pretty strong glimpse of something that's transcendent of that duality? 
So it's not really about renunciation. I think for me it's more a path of diving into joy, diving in, fully going for it, and having an experience that draws you higher and higher and higher. And, and meanwhile, you're not looking back on what you're letting go of because you don't really feel like you're actually letting go of anything. I, I don't feel like I gave up anything in my life. I, I just don't have regrets. I, I never think, oh, I wish, you know, for the good old days. These are the good old days. I just don't ever have regrets, no matter what it is. Thank you.